Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in with me today. To all of my new viewers, hi, my name is Shanetta from Shanetta's Divine Tarot, and I make fun tarot videos, tarot readings, fun pick a cards here on this channel, okay? So, to all of my OG subscribers, thank you guys so much. I love you all so much, and I just want you guys to know that you guys are greatly appreciated. Like, it's just so amazing to know that I have a freaking family on here, a big community of people that all vibe with the same things, you know, all positive vibes, okay? No negative vibes on this channel. I love you guys so much. So, getting into this reading, this is going to be a 2019 edition pick a card, okay? So this is going to be a pick a card reading letting you know what blessings are on the way, okay? So this is going to be a video telling you what blessings are going to be entering your life, coming into your life in 2019. You may be aware of these blessings or you have no clue that they're coming, but girl, they're coming, okay? <laughs> so we're gonna jump into this video. Um, yeah, let's get this thing pop and let's do it. <laughs> okay, you guys like my shirt? How cute is this? All for one. All right, lovely. So jumping right into today's reading, what I want you to do now, as always, is either close your eyes or leave them open, whichever you are most comfortable with. Go ahead and take a few, preferably three, deep breaths in hold them for three seconds and a deep release okay what this will do this will put you in a more meditative state this will help your body be more relaxed this will help your mind be more relaxed so you can get more of an intuitive selection and get more of an accurate reading today all right so now that you took your breaths what i want you to do is ask yourself this question ask your higher self right now in this moment what blessings are coming into my life in 2019? What blessings are on their way? Okay, really ask yourself, okay? Really connect with your intuition here. Really connect with your higher self. And when you feel called, there is no rush to this. Take your time. Go ahead and open your eyes. And if they're already opened, go ahead and see which pile or piles you are attracted to, which piles you you can't stop looking at okay so this is pile number one pile number two pile number three and pile number four all right you guys so go ahead and pause this video if you need to I'm going to jump right into this video okay and I'm so excited to let you know what blessings are entering your life in 2019 so group number one, we are going to now figure out what blessings are going to be entering your life in 2019. All right, I always start with the tarot. Just because, you know, it's a fun, you know, little surprise to see what else is coming next. So this is the Everyday Witch Tarot. Um, I love this bad boy. So we have three of pentacles. Excuse me, what the fuck? Oh, all right. Two of swords. Nine of Wands, the Hanged Man. Then we also have the High Priestess in Reverse next to Five of Wands. All right, and these are just the tarot cards. I'll get into the other ones next. So what blessings are going to be entering your life in 2019? It's very interesting. I'm picking up the kind of energy that this is going to be a blessing in disguise. I feel like this blessing is going to come to you after a time of, I'm not going to say suffering, but this blessing is definitely going to be answered prayers. You're going to be relieved. Um, so if you're currently in a situation in life where you are not content with where you are at and you just feel stressed and overwhelmed and you feel stuck... Let me see. This one's first, then this one. So if you are stressed, if you are overwhelmed, if you have been put to the test multiple times and the universe keeps trying you, people keep trying you, okay, and you are just like, I don't know what to do. I, I'm fucking, I'm freaking over it, okay? I feel like the, the blessing is going to be a blessing in disguise for you guys, okay? Like, you're not really going to realize, um that this blessing is coming, it's just gonna hit you. It's gonna be like, boom, okay? 
Um, because I feel like where you're at currently, if you're dealing with people, you're dealing with energies that you are not, you don't like them, okay? We have five of, five of wands. That's conflict, okay? This could be indicating conflict in the workplace because wands is all about, you know, normally like careers, you know, what you're passionate about. So you could be having conflict in the workplace, you know, nine of wands, five of wands. Maybe there's drama going on with where you're working and you're just over it and you're tired of dealing with it, but you don't know how to find a new job maybe with this hang of man, hang of man, with this hanged man. Also, you know, high priestess in reverse. So the high priestess, Okay, we're just going to go with it. So the high priestess in reverse is all about basically a mentor or somebody of higher authority that does not have your best interest. So whoever you're having conflict with, I feel like this person, what do I feel? Hold on one second. Whoever you're having conflict a conflict with, I feel like this person is not of your best interest. They try to get you to do things that you don't want to do. You know, they try to maybe uh, pull a big one over on you because they think that you're just going to go with it because they're of higher authority. They're just trying to lead you in the wrong direction. Now, uh, for some of you, I'm picking up that this is a drop job. Uh, for some of you, this could be your living situation. For some of you, this could be a relationship, okay? Different scenarios for different people, but I feel like with this two of swords, you know, she has this blindfold on and it's like, it's like she's acting like she's oblivious to what is going on. She's acting like everything is okay. But, you know, this person is very intuitive. You know, she, she freaking hit the bullseye with her blindfold on. So what is this telling you? That possibly in 2019, you're just going to feel stuck, okay? Because possibly you're dealing with the energy that that you're going to be dealing with an energy that is misleading and they just stress you out and they cause you drama, conflict, and you're over it. You're going to be feeling stuck, but your intuition in 2019 is going to be on point. I'm feeling like your intuition is going to be telling you, you need to do this, you need to do this, you need to do this. And once you do all of that, bam, three of pentacles, you're going to start getting things back together slowly but surely. Let me tell you what else. We got the holiday card, you know, um... Okay, so the holiday card is really all about escaping, getting away from whatever is stressing you out and burdening you. So your blessing in 2019, I really feel like you're going to be moving. You're going to be um, getting away from these things that are stressing you out. To be honest, um, for some of you in 2019, you're going to be finding a new house. You're going to be finding a new living situation. You're going, um, And for some, you're going to be finding a new job. For some of you, you're going to be leaving a partner and just releasing from that energy and you're going to be more focusing on yourself so you know the beginning of 2019 and even right now when you're watching this I feel like you're going to be in a type of situation where you feel stuck you feel like you don't know what to do kind of hopeless but I feel like if you just tap into your intuition you know if you tap into that two of swords your intuition will lead you correctly your intuition will guide you and you'll see beautiful things so like I said I see you leaving yeah Okay, yes, there's something better. I really strongly, you're leaving something and you're moving on to something better. And once you move on um, to whatever it is that is better for you, your life is just going to start being like, bam, 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 right place at the right time. You're doing this, you're doing this, okay? Because the universe is kind of tired of seeing you in this situation or maybe you've been, you know, setting intentions. You've been meditating, you've been doing all that inner healing work. So now um, you've been raising your vibration. So now the universe is kind of um, helping you shift where you're at so the people that you're around match your frequency and your vibration okay okay remember who you are so this card is basically telling you like hey you are freaking badass like you do not know like who you are do not know what you have done what you have accomplished what you have came from you know so don't get discouraged because you're surrounded by all these negative energies, these negative vibrations. You're surrounded by people that don't want to see you succeed, but it is okay because 
you are popping like these people like how, how i feel like when you invo when you evolve because i feel like you're moving you're doing something like you're leaving this situation so it's funny you know it's the hard truth but when you evolve it <clears throat> But when you evolve, okay, so, and the universe helps you find people and things, places that match your frequency of vibration, those people that you leave from will stay there. So they can stay mad, but it's just, you know, like you remember who you are in 2019. So I also feel like the last thing that's going to come to you is you leaving this situation, you leaving this person, you leaving this job, whatever it is. It will help you gain that self-confidence. It will help you gain that self-love. It will help you remember like what the freak you are capable of, okay? We have the sensitivity card. Ooh, the sensitive the sensitivity card is all about people, you know, big time for spiritual people where you, or empaths or whatever the case scenario is where you're evolving, where you're doing your breathing exercises, where you're meditating frequently in your energy field, your energy, you're just very sensitive. You wanna, you, <clears throat> you don't want to be around um, people with nasty, tainted energy. You just don't. And also, I feel like blessing in disguise, the universe is seeing that you are evolving. So they're going to move you away from these people, whether you want to or not. But strong sense, you do. Okay? <laughs> you do want to. Okay. All right, guys. So, yeah. Next card, we got communal living. Um, I decided to use my past life just to get more um, information, so I'm not going to really go off of what the the book that came with this deck um, is would refer to this but with communal living this is obvious like big time you are changing you are moving okay this could also indicate for those of you that live with roommates that are just with the drama for your mama like you're leaving them you're moving on you're gonna be on your own but also just the living the living part of this card like you're shifting you're moving energies okay you know and this might catch you off guard you might be very stressed but it's gonna happen like this i'm surprised the tower didn't come but it's going to be so quick for you guys, and you guys will be so relieved, and this is a blessing in disguise. Once you get to this new job, once you get to this new um, place to live, once you get to your new relationship or being alone for a time period, like things are just going to start going upward for you. So if you have been feeling like things have just been not serving you, things have been really bad, good news. 2019 will be amazing, okay? In 2019, you might even go on a vacation. Also, what other blessings do I see? And if you are into spirituality, if you are into, you know, anything spiritual or whatever, I see, see that 2019, you will be growing, you will be expanding, you will be, you know, leveling up, evolving, okay? So I have my Gypsy Witch... Okay, so you guys got the Rod card. This Rod card is all about, you know, family quarrels. Also, you know, you taking from some distant losses. Like, so distant losses is basically like you are going to be, you know, having minor setbacks. But these minor setbacks are going to be what pulls the trigger for you to freaking get on your feet and do what you got to do to get away from whatever the situation is, all right? No, for some of you, you might be young, you might be living at home with family, and there just might be too much drama going on. There might just be too much, and the universe is just like, okay, it's time for you to go. So I see, you know, if you've been stressing about moving, you're going to be moving out in 2019. I am so happy for you guys, okay? If you've been stressed about a job or relationship, whatever it is, I see you leaving it, okay? The next card that you've got is... Okay, ooh. The stork denotes change of residence for the better sooner or later according to the distance from the person. So 2019, big blessing. You will be moving your location. You will be moving some kind of move. And also, if you're not planning on moving in 2019, it might come unexpectedly. Or this could also be indicating vacation for some. Moving jobs, moving people, you know, getting people out of your life. Let's see. The moon, okay, it predicts good omen and fortune. Wow. Okay, and also, you know, because I'm not doing this the traditional way, but it also says that um, if it's distant, exposure of secrets. So that might be what triggers it, secrets, okay? But good fortune. So this move, whatever it is that you're going to, what is going to be happening, this big change in 2019, 
you know, you'll be set financially. You will be good to go. So don't stress about it, okay? But I, if you guys have been wanting this, I bet you guys are like jumping in your seat right now because this is happening. Like you got big cards that like so many cards are indicating a move. Like it says it right here. It says it. Good omen. Wow. Communal living. Okay. And then you got the Amor, which is a sign that someone is looking at you with great love and longing. All right. So... You might be finding love. If you're leaving a relationship, you might be, you know, in some point in 2019, you will find love, romance, okay? Or also, this could just indicate people genuinely caring about you in 2019. But overall summary, you know, this is your blessing. Group number one is going to be a blessing in disguise. Um, so just be ready for that, you know? So, but it's definitely going to be a big blessing good fortune and also with this holiday card it's just like you're getting away from these these people these energies that just stress you out you're doing it and you're not going to be stuck feeling like the hanged man anymore all right so group number one that is what i have for you i'm so excited for you guys because freaking moving that's major that is major for that to come up in this reading so I'm super excited for you. I'm very excited to hear your feedback here because I'm strong since you guys have been wanting a change of location. You've been wanting change of scenery. You've been wanting to get away from whatever that five of wands is, okay? Big time. All right, so you guys, if this resonated with you, go ahead and thumbs up this video. It lets me know that you enjoyed and you want to see more like so. Also, make sure that you subscribe if you have not already. Okay, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my posts when I upload. And go ahead and <clears throat> like and comment, like I said. All right, so I'm going to move on to the next group. 2019 will be beautiful for you, and I'm very happy, okay? All right, lovelies, for those of you that were attracted to pile number two, not four, two, all right, this is what blessings are going to be entering your life in 2019. Let's get started, okay? Let's get started. Beautiful crystal selection, by the way. Beautiful. So this is the pile. This is the pile. Let's get it. Start with the tarot. All right. So, ooh, first card that we got, we got Nine of Cups, all right? Page of Pentacles. I can already tell your year is going to be phenomenal, okay? What well, blessings? This is also an indication with this Nine of Cups. Page of Pentacles already right there. Vacation. If you've been wanting to go on a damn vacation, homegirl, homeboy, you're going on a damn vacation. Sound of country, didn't I? But yeah, I do see that. Possibly for you guys, that could be a, one of your little blessings because I see that things are going, be, going to be beautiful just from these two cards. You know, vacation, you're going to be having fun, you know. Fun in the sun, you're going to be... Mm, you're pot, yeah, traveling to new, to, to new places that you aren't necessarily familiar with. Wow. Seven of Pentacles. You're going to be seeing the fruition of the seeds that you planted back in 2017, 2018, okay? You're going to have money to spend in 2019, okay? I want to emphasize that to you. Three of Cups. Possibly new friendships. Also just celebration in 2019. You could possibly inherit a lot of money in 2019. Something in involving money that you're going to need to celebrate it could be a big promotion. You could win the lottery, possibly. Inheritance. You might get some large form of money. And it's like you're going to be set, pretty much. So something that in Wheel of Fortune, this card is basically letting us know that whatever it is that we want, we can get. Um, also, this card is indicating that the universe has a lot lined up for you. Now it's time for you to just spin the wheel and go get it. Claim your prize. Wow, the Hierophant. So for some of you, this money, you know, this the Seven of Pentacles, this this um, 
you being well fulfilled with the finances, you seeing that fruition of all the hard work that you put into. I see that in 2019, you could be getting a promotion or you could be landing that new job that's going to bring you that coin. For you guys, 2019 is going to be a lot about finances. I don't really see you working that hard though. I feel like with this hair fan, you're not you're going to be in a high up position. And that's what the celebration is going to be about. Wow. Like, this message is just like boom, 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 right in your face, okay? Like, 2019, 2019 will be very good for you, and it's going to start off good as well, like, you know? We also got the alchemy card. The alchemy card is all about being yourself, finding that balance, you know, not trying to impress other people because you know that you are the ish. So, in 2019, and you know, you're going to be at peace. You know, that's a big blessing for you. But so the, your biggest blessing that you're going to get is these finances. You know, this promotion, you moving up, you're leveling up in whatever it is. Or like for some of you, I said inheritance, you might get with somebody that has coin. You know, I'm not trying to plant that seed, but you honestly just might as well. And if you have been going through a period of time where you've been struggling financially or whatever, 2019 is going to be your year. We also have the arts. Okay, the arts is all about creative outlets, being very artistic, being very, you know, it just comes naturally to you. So possibly um, where you're getting this money from, the Hierophant having all this knowledge, being in charge, you being the instructor, you might be doing something you love genuinely because we do have the Nine of Cups. That is happiness, fulfillment. Like, your cups are just stacking up. Like, you are freaking just on cloud nine. So, I feel like possibly what could be bringing you... Ouch. Possibly what could be bringing you all of this fruition, all of this prosperity, all of this abundance in 2019 is simply the fact that you um start, you know, brainstorming, organizing your life so that you... Hold on one second. Yeah, so all this fruition that you're going to be getting, it's, it's going to come to you once you organize your life, okay? You stop listening to those old programs and old stories and you step out of that and you go after whatever it is that you love because you can make freaking bank doing what you love because you genuinely love it, okay? It's a passion. Next card that we got, we got Life Review. Ooh, so like I was just saying about organizing your life, about getting things in order. So beginning of the year, I feel like you're going to be doing that. You're going to be watching videos on how to better your life in 2019. Um, if you have not watched my last pick a card, it is how to, what do you need to do? What do you need to implement to start living your best life in 2019? Okay, so if you haven't watched that, that is a gem. That might be the trigger. That might be the catalyst for you going after whatever it is that you love. You might be into music. You might be into painting, dancing, singing, writing, whatever creative outlet it is. That is going to be bringing you a lot of abundance and prosperity because it's like not like work to you. You genuinely love it. You're going to be working with people that you love. You're going to have a lot of people that are looking up to you because, hello, like it's you. So yes, I feel like that's going to be the catalyst to trigger you to go after what you're passionate about, you to do what you love. Potentially 2019 might be the year that you meet your soulmate, just by, just from looking at this alchemy card, you know, a lot of deep intimacy, deep passion, uh, you could already be with this person right now, and you know, if, if that rings the bell, then boom, there we go, all right? I definitely see that with you. Ooh, a lot of purple. So your aura might be purple. You might really like my background. <laughs> so you're on the right path. So, you know, if you're currently doing something that involves the arts, you're already on the right path, okay? So if you're watching this right now, whatever you're doing, keep doing it because it's working. I see that, you know, you're slowly but surely getting to this point. And I feel like this is going to happen very fast as soon as 2019 begins, New journeys, page of pentacles, right? New journeys. So, and also you're going to have a lot of opportunities that are going to be presenting themselves to you. You can see all the little pathways in the back of the card, as well as just this wheel of fortune. This card comes up letting you know like, hey, 
you can have whatever you want. So let the let me know. Let the universe, hey, like, let me know. Okay, what do you want? Place your order. Career change. Wow. You're embarking upon a career that brings you joy and abundance. <sighs> So yes, you guys, okay, so you might be moving a career in 2019, but whatever it is, you're going to literally have so much joy. You're going to genuinely want to go to work. You're going to love what you do. You are going to, you know, brag about your job to all of your friends, celebrate. You're going to be like, oh my gosh, I'm so happy I can do this as a job. Not a lot of people can do that. All right. Pay attention to red flags. So a blessing for you is I feel like your intuition is going to be on point because the universe is just going to be like dropping things for you. Like, boom, opportunity. Boom, phone call that brings you more opportunities. Boom, you go out for food. You meet a potential person that is going to do business with you. Whatever it is, like I feel like your intuition, these, you know, with this card, not so much red flags, but, you know, getting this, you know, relating this to what the topic is. The signs are cautioning you. The signs are telling you, not cautioning. I'm looking at this like the signs are everywhere. The signs are telling you. So 2019, make sure you are picking up on the signs. Make sure you're doing your breathing exercises, your meditations, so you can be in tune with the universe because we are all one, okay? Oh, all for one. Something similar, <laughs> okay? All right, be assertive. So I feel like a blessing for you is in 2019, the Hierophant, you're in charge. You call the shots. You are going to be very assertive. You're going to find your voice, okay? Also, abundance, okay? So abundance is coming to you in 2019. Have your arms, have your purses, have your wallets out and ready. Then bank accounts are going to be looking beautiful, because seven of pentacles like this is just a beautiful card like you can just tell like money is just going to come to you so easily so effortlessly i am so happy and grateful now that money comes to me easily and effortlessly okay affirmation all right next card we've got the rose this is the gypsy witch tarot roses indicate beauty and rugged health okay so 2019, you're going to have this glow too. You're just going to be shiny. Everybody's going to be like, oh my gosh, what is she doing? What is he doing? I need to start doing that because you're just going to be glowing. You doing something that you're genuinely happy, genuinely passionate about in 2019, you're going to catch a lot of attention. People are going to want to implement what you are doing. I'm so happy. Okay. This sun. Okay. Happiness and popularity. So like I, just, like I just said, like popularity, like people are going to want to hang out with you. People are going to want to be around you because you're just going to have this vibe. Also, I feel like nine of cups, self-love, that's really popping up. Like in 2019, you guys will just know who you are. You will know like the energy that you walk with. You will know your worth, okay? If somebody is not trying to meet your standards, you will walk out the door without any hesitation. That's the type of year you will have, like boss energy okay last i'm just like whoa <laughs> whoa okay so number 23 queen of hearts the ring okay rich in abundance happy marriage so you got the ring which is okay so you got the queen of hearts which is all about basically abundance, happiness, happy marriages, happy relationships. 2019 is honestly going to be your year. And don't get me wrong, like it's not just going to be handed to you. You guys have worked hard for this. You guys have been being assertive. You guys have been wanting to take control of your life. You've been wanting to organize your life. And now the universe is just like, there you go. You got it. Now what do you want? spin the wheel all right so you're on the right path you guys i'm so happy that i got to be the one to tell you this message i bet you guys are jumping in your seat right now because you're going to be doing stuff that you love and just you know it's like it's not even going to feel like work you guys are just going to be showered with abundance people are going to be admiring you people are going to be like wow what is this person doing i need to do it <clears throat> That's the energy of 2019 for you guys. Group number two. Wow. 
Beautiful message. Okay, so if you guys resonated with this, go ahead and leave me a comment down below letting me know, okay? Um, let me know what your goals are for 2019. Let me know if you play instruments, whatever your creative outlet uh, <clears throat> Whatever your creative outlet is, I would love to hear it. If you are not already and you vibed with my channel, make sure you subscribe, okay? So you don't miss out on any of the videos. Other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. I love you so much. I'm going to move on to the next group. All right, lovelies, for those of you that were attracted to pile number three with the smoky quartz, the rose quartz, and the stone right here, okay, not even going to try to guess that one because I'm, I do not know. Um, <laughs> but this right here is what blessings are coming to you in 2019. I am so excited. All right, so we're going to start with the tarot cards. I just got a glimpse, glimpse of one of your oracle cards. Already beautiful. Wow. All right. So we got nine of pentacles in reverse. Okay. Nine of pentacles in reverse. Eight of cups. Seven of cups. The hermit. Ace of pentacles. Justice. Temperance. All right, so group number three, I feel like beginning of 2019 or, no, backtrack. I feel like, so going into 2019, the energy from 2018 with you was um, Nine of Pentacles reverse, which with that Nine of Pentacles being in reverse, the energy is basically not feeling content, knowing that there could be things done better, you know, also... Irresponsible spending, also that could be a factor as well. But I feel like with you guys, group number three, um, you're going to see that things need need change, they need tweaking, and you're going to withdraw from any old habits, any old people, any old... <sighs> Anything that is not serving you. So beginning of 2019, I see that you're just going to be fed up and you're going to be cleaning out your life. You're going to be revamping everything. You're going to be detaching from old behaviors because cups is all about emotions. Now for some of you, I see that possibly you might be... Okay, this is for some. Possibly you might be leaving, you know, a partner in 2019 just because we have the hermit. Okay, this is just for some in 2019, but also it's like a big time energy with group number three. So you're going to be tweaking your life. This is a blessing because, you know, not a lot of people can see that what they're doing wrong. They can't see what they can tweak to make things better. But you guys are going to be, you know, being mature and being grown and withdrawing from old things that are not doing you any good, okay? Seven of Cups, you have so many choices that will be presented to you in 2019. And it's going to be kind of hard for you to pick. It's, you're just going to, you know, you're just going to have so many opportunities that will be presented to you. You're going to have so much, um, so many choices of where your life can go in 2019. So that's why I see that you have the Hermit. So you're going to be withdrawing from all of these people, you know, really collecting and doing inner work to figure out what you exactly want to do, okay? For 2019, but also Ace of Pentacles, you doing this, this Hermit, you, you know, meditating more, you do your spiritual work, you uh, do whatever it is that's that your higher self is guiding you to do, and that's going to bring opportunities. So don't get me wrong, just because you're leaving these old behavior patterns, these old emotional thought patterns, these old people, these old jobs, whatever it is, this, you know, you're leaving, could be a house, it could be whatever it is that you're leaving, because this is a general reading, but you leaving that, and I feel like you won't even be bothered by it, because you've already been thinking about it for so long, now you're just doing the action, you're doing the work, okay? You're manifesting 2019, you know, you're taking the time to really ask your higher self 
what you should do, you know, versus, you know, the old you, possibly you could just have been asking other people for advice, relying on other people. But now in 2019, you're going to realize that you hold all the answers. So Ace of Pentacles, once you do all of that work, I feel like the universe is just going to be showering you with the opportunity, showering you with abundance, okay? Because we also had Seven of Pentacles. So it's like, hey, what do you want? <laughs> Place your order, <laughs> okay? You can get more than one thing. Don't get it twisted. All right. Also, you got two cards here that represent balance. We have justice and we have temperance. But let me get you started on this justice. Whenever a justice card comes up in a reading, it's in your favor. So 2019 is going to be the year that things get evened out. Balance is going to be coming, okay? So if anybody you know tried you, if any, you know, if anybody tried to get one over on you, or if, if things in your life just weren't you knew that there was injustice going on the universe is going to handle that and best believe you will know that that got handled and you know you will gain fulfillment from it big time okay because it's just like you deserve it and also for you guys in 2019 a big blessing besides this justice besides you know the universe working in your favor you it's you know things aren't just going to be handed to you but you've been doing your work you've been doing that inner work and you have been being positive spreading good vibes being gratitude and you're going to be just showered with abundance in 2019 your finances and your career will definitely be looking up i'm so happy for you okay also with the temperance you will be more disciplined in 2019 you will be more spiritual in 2019 all right so the two oracle cards that we got right here we have positive outcome so this positive outcome is all about things just going in your favor like thing like i said with ace of pentacles seven of cups like you have been doing your work so now the universe is just going to be showering you with all of these gifts and all of this abundance okay you know so if things are shaky now, because like I said, the beginning of 2019 or 2018 going into 2019, you will start noticing what you don't like in your life. You will start noticing what behaviors that you have that need to go. You will start noticing what friends, what family members, what any, whoever it is, you will start knowing who needs to get the step in, okay? And you will start detaching yourself emotionally from these people. You will start detaching yourself from these old habits, these old thoughts, whatever it is, you know, general reading, so I'm saying different things, okay? But whatever resonates, go with that, all right? But yeah, so positive outcome. So if things seem crazy, have faith because the universe sees all this hard work that you have been putting in and you will be gifted for it. You will be rewarded for it. You know, if you felt like in the past, like all of your hard work was going unnoticed, your karma points were just adding up, adding up, adding up. And you know, when like you're all playing a video game and then you're saving all your coins to buy that really expensive, um, perk that really expensive game perk this is what that is like you like all this abundance all this prosperity all this prosperity yeah all this prosperity um it's just gonna come at you at once and you're just gonna be like wow so grateful that's why seven of cups is gonna be like wow it's really happening like wow okay so you've been setting intentions okay like guidance so this guidance card is really all about you getting divine guidance from your ancestors your spirit guides you've been you're going to be guided in 2019 so it's like you're always going to be at the right place at the right time you're always going to as long as you know but you will be doing your work you're you know meditating and everything but your guides are going to be messing with you heavy you know they're going to make sure that you get excuse me they're going to make sure that you are getting rewarded for all the hard work, you know, years back that you've been putting in. Like, 2019 is your year. Let's get it. Let's go. Okay? Peace and love, family. All right? Reconsider. Like I was saying, so beginning of this reading, you're going... <sighs> beginning of the year okay you're going to be reconsidering certain things certain people certain jobs whatever it is you're going to be reconsidering it and wait <laughs> wait a minute okay that's the energy for you also you're going to have a lot of helpful people or a very helpful person that is going to help you um receive these blessings that are going to help you just along your way 
help you get that recognition, help you stay on track, you know, with temperance. In this deck, you know, because she's doing yoga, she's being healthy, but there's cupcakes in the back, she's tempted, and on the other side, there's carrots. But her eyes, you know, facing the cupcakes, even though she's working out, and she's like, I shouldn't be doing that. So I feel like you're going to have helpful people that are going to be keeping you on track, um keeping you aligned with your purpose you're gonna have that guidance you know helpful ancestors helpful friends helpful spirit guides whatever it may be you will have it so that's why i'm telling you 2019 is going to be your year we also have take action so 2019 there will be movement there will be action and with this horse fast movement you will just see things unfold right before your eyes in 2019. And I'm like so excited for you, okay? Okay, this could be the one. Romance Oracle. So you have already met the romantic partner you seek. So 2019, you might meet the one or you might... If you already have somebody in your life and you already had a strong feeling that that was the one for you, that was the person made especially for you, you already have this person in your new action, so maybe you guys might take things a step further, okay? Honeymoon. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. So, vacation 2019? I think so, okay, with whoever that significant person is. Vacation for you, movement. We have a lot of movement, so also this could indicate a move, to be honest. A lot of movement in this reading. Moving on to better things, all right? Light and love. Your divine purpose is to bring divine healing and light and love to this world. So like I said, I strong. you guys are very spiritual. You guys are aligned with, you know... <laughs> higher sources you guys have you know spirit guides that mess with you have you do your work you do your exercises you're just on the right path and so now you're just getting rewarded for all this work that you've been putting in you've been very serious you've been consistent all right and also family um family and friends so 2019 for you a big blessing family honeymoon this could be the one marriage okay taking relationships to the next level wow starting a family possibly for some but for some 2019 you might even start a family to be honest yep like i said okay next card you are safe so this is card basically your guide your guardian angels are coming through and letting you know that you are safe they are with you 100 percent. no crazy stuff is gonna happen to you because you are taken care of you are undividedly you are loved okay so like like i said your spirit guides your ancestors they're going to be with you in 2019 guiding you you know giving you these thoughts giving you these downloads that will help you like be at the right place at the right time go to this place and then bam you get a big career opportunity like whatever it is like damn like vacation also okay so we got the medicine man or woman so like i said you guys are very spiritual and you did get the light and love so the light and love card is all about you know a healer you're a natural born healer and medicine man and woman so i feel like your gift in life is healing people whether that be you know spiritual you might be in the medical career whatever it is you know health is very important to you like with the body so and you might be dabbling more into your spiritual side in 2019. You might be dabbling more with healing others in 2019. That is very exciting. Uh, so the last card, <laughs> the last cards that we got are the Gypsy Witch. These just straight to the point let you know what blessings. Ooh, number 40. Um, wine is a symbol of cheerfulness and gaiety. So happiness in 2019, you will be very happy um, because it's like you're going to see the fruition of everything that you've been working so hard towards. I just saw orb. But yeah, you've been working so hard. And so now it's just like it's going to be coming and you will just be so happy and fulfilled. 2019 is going to be your year, okay? Also, you got... <laughs> King of Diamonds, the letter is a sign of good tidings, okay? And also, 
unexpected good fortune. So like I said, this abundance, this prosperity is coming to you unexpectedly, okay? Because like I said, you know, you got the justice card. So possibly in the past, you're just you're just putting in work, but you haven't been seeing the results. 2019, you're seeing those god dang results, okay? I'm telling you right now, unexpected good fortune, it's gonna come out of nowhere. I'm stressing that, okay? And good tidings, you're leaving old energies so you can have room for these new energies, okay? So, because we're bringing new stuff in. So, if you're watching this right now, start decluttering. Start getting rid of toxic people. Start going through your friends list. Start doing whatever it is. Get that filth out so we can bring in that abundance, okay? Last two cards. The writer is a sure sign of good news. Good, wow. Good news is coming your way in 2019. It's just like that. This is going to be your year. I really don't see you having any problems in 2019. If they are problems, those problems are, of course, going to be for a reason. Those problems are going to lead you. Those problems will, you know, bring more abundance, prosperity into your life. And then the last card that we have is the seven, sorry, four of hearts, um, which is the fish. And it is emblem of riches through stocks okay so like i said like you are going to be just getting money out of nowhere it's going to be coming to you like literally as a surprise a lot of movement in 2019 for you so vacation starting a family um basically like, i'm gonna just tell you this now whatever it is that you want you can get it and also i just feel like the universe has so much lined up for you so i guess this is just telling you here that you just need to pick what you want or pick all of it take all of it and run it's like um Yes, so group number three, that is what I have for you guys. Like, I'm so happy that I was the one to give you this message. Like, big time movement and abundance and prosperity and you will be divinely guided in 2019. Just remember that. All right, so lovelies, if you resonated with this, go ahead and leave me a comment, okay? Leave me a comment letting me know what you're working towards. If you are a spiritual healer, um... If you have met the one already or if you have yet to, I want to know because, you know, I'm, I'm interested. All right. And if you have yet to already, make sure you subscribe to the channel, join the family, like, and comment, subscribe. I already said that. All right. <laughs> so lovelies, I'm going to move on to the last group. I love you so much and I will see you in my next video. All right, lovelies, so last but not least, we're going to be tuning into the viewers that were attracted to pile four all right this is with the red jasper and the red carnelian okay carnelian carnelian yeah pile right here let's see what blessings are entering your life in 2019 all right here we go start with the tarot we got the magician that is a beautiful sign that is Already that's indicating in 2019, you will have all, you will be pro provided with all of the necessities, all of the tools that you need to create whatever it is that you are wanting to create. That is a big, that is a big card for manifestation as well. That is a big card for spirituality. That's a big card for knowing what the freak you are capable of, knowing what you bring to the table as well. 2019, anything is possible for you guys, group number four, letting you know that now. Ooh, we got the death card. So 2019, this is, you know, kind of like group number one. It's going to be like a blessing in disguise. Um, Something is going to end, but then real quickly after it ends, a blessing comes in. Let's see what that blessing is. All right, we got the strength. Nine of swords reverse. Page of wands in the full. I feel like whatever it is that you're ending, you have been holding off on it with this nine of swords in reverse. You've been holding on to this, holding, I feel like for some of you, it's a relationship. For some of you, group number four, you're going to be leaving um, a person, a friendship, a relationship, a job. You're leaving something, but you know, you've been thinking about it a lot. You've been stressing about it. It's been keeping you up. And I feel like the universe is just finally about to cut that cord. 
the universe is finally about to be like, okay, well, let's close this door so we can open this door for her, for him, okay? And I feel like this is going to be a big lesson for you. This lesson is going to teach you the message from strength, okay? It's going to teach you that you got to stay strong because it might catch you off guard, but look at what's coming in. Page of Wands the fool so even though this is gonna catch you off guard I feel like you're you've been waiting for it you're like I'm free so in 2019 you will be free from whatever burdens this is okay it could be a relationship it could be a job it could be whatever but somebody's gonna tell you and they're gonna be like hey you know that you can do this right and then you're gonna be like what and then you're going to leave whatever that old thing is that you used to do or that old person. And then you're going to go into something new and it's going to be like, woo. Okay. Also, for some of you, this could indicate 2019 if you're not already spiritual or if you're a little bit spiritual. I feel like 2019 is going to be the year that the spiritual awakening takes off. I don't know if you've seen those memes about spiritual awakening, how um, it's like <laughs> it just catches you off guard and you're not really expecting it. And it's like a roller coaster and then you're like, oh my gosh, but it's amazing. But people try to make it seem like it's spooky. But, you know, the death card, big transformation going down that roller coaster roller coaster and then we're gonna get the thrill afterwards you know we're gonna want to go again and again and again okay all right so if you guys have been stressing a lot over something I see whatever it is that you're stressing about that's gonna come to an end you're gonna stop stressing all right because we also got the Lenetra Lenetra all right, this is, you will give birth to something beautiful, okay? An idea manifests. The beginning of a new wondrous journey. So 2019, I feel like you will be creating something. For some of you, a very small percentage of you, you could be having a baby in 2019. And it's going to be a sudden change, but it's going to bring you something so beautiful. So beautiful, okay? You could be having a baby. You could find out you're pregnant in 2019 or if you already are pregnant and you're stressing about it. Um, I feel like you're soon, that time of stressing is soon going to be over and you're going to be so excited about this new child. Okay. But that's just for some. So if you're not planning on having a child, don't worry about it. Okay. I'm silly. So next cards that we got is opportunity. So 2019 will bring you a lot of opportunities and you will just be so ready to dive into it, okay? Because you've been wanting change, you've been wanting change, so it also you got the within the next few weeks. So this is indicating to me that all of these blessings will come to you the beginning of the new year success so 2019 is going to bring you so much success and abundance like and also 2019 is going to be a big year for you to manifest if you don't know what manifesting is comment down below if you want me to make a video on it um going into detail how to do it etc etc but if you want something in 2019 you better manifest it because the universe is working with you you've got you know some good things lined up for you so now's the time to start that okay also, we have the compassion card. So in 2019, I feel like things will start looking better. Things will soften up. Your heart will open, you know. Things will just start looking up for you. A new journey. So just because what you're leaving something behind, just because we have this death card right here, you know, that's something ended, but something is beginning. So you're leaving something behind. You might, in the beginning of 2019, still be trying to look back at whatever it was that you left. But not for long because Page of Wands, you're going on this journey, you're looking back, but then the fool. So it's just like you have a little, a little scary time, but it's like, I'm ready. I want change. Okay, that's what you guys are, 2019, okay? Also books. So this indicates that this new beginning, it could be a career change as well, you know, with this creation card. So you might start writing again if you're a writer. Um... You really might start writing again, doing stuff that you're passionate about, or just reading more. You might use, you might have used to like reading all the time, and then uh, something happened which kind of stopped that. I see it picking back up, you know, journaling more. 
Okay, so we have let go of control issues. So in 2019, you will kind of just stop trying to, sh you will stop stressing so much and just start going with the flow, okay? And you will remember that everything happens for a reason. You're letting go of the fact that this is, whatever this is, you're letting go that that is ending and you're just embracing what is coming in. All right, also, you deserve love. So in 2019, I feel like you are going to find self-worth. You are going to find somebody that treats you right. You are gonna find somebody that is up to your standards. You're not gonna find, you're going to find somebody that doesn't walk over you like a doormat. You know, strong sense of for some of you, you're getting that divorce. You're breaking up with this person that's been stressing you out for years and you're finally going to be ending that chapter and beginning a new one okay wow no <laughs> new love wow okay you guys definitely so that message was strong and it was for somebody so if you've been stressing about whatever it is i feel like the universe is on your side and i feel like it's not for long i feel like and like i said within like the card said not me the card said it okay so you know it's real within the next few weeks like i said manifest so if this is resonating with you and you're getting very excited that you're finally getting to leave this person, this place, this thing, whatever it is, start manifesting. Start visualizing yourself actually leaving. Start picturing in your head. Like really imagine you packing your bags, you leaving for good and you not looking back. Whatever the case scenario is, start doing that. Within the next few weeks, this will occur, okay? Letting you know that now. Comment down below. Let me know your situation because th this message is very intense and it's just flowing. It's just coming out. So I definitely know multiple people need to hear this. <sighs> Sending light and love your way. High priest or high priestess. So this is all about, you know, people with a lot of power. But for you guys, I feel like this is your spirit guides. These, this is your ancestors <laughs> causing this change. You know, they've seen you suffering. Or, you know, that period was a karmic lesson that you did have to learn. Or that period that you went through was literally just to teach you things for you to teach other people you know for you to evolve and grow as a person but I definitely feel like you know you are being divinely guided everything that will be occurring is happening for your highest and best good okay so let's really start holding that vision of whatever it is okay because it's achieve it's more than achievable like you can do this within the next few weeks the card said it and also success and opportunities will come so don't be scared really don't be scared and if you love reading if you love writing whatever it is that involves books start doing it because these are messages 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 from the divine and they are literally going to help you get to where you want to be but like i said 2019 you will be creating something beautiful you will be manifesting and blessings blessings will be showered upon you okay so the last cards that we have are the gypsy witch cards let's see what we got so first card is okay three of diamonds this is all about riches okay so because this is a money safe Diamonds is all about wealth, okay? Three. Yeah, I, so if you're worried about your finances, 2019, that will be taken care of. That's not even a, a issue. The main blessing that you're having in 2009, the main, not issue, the main blessing that you are having in 2019 is you escaping whatever is causing you this nine of swords, reverse whatever you're holding on to emotionally not mm, mentally in your thoughts whatever negative thoughts whatever negative people you're holding on to you will be leaving that alone okay and so also we have the shepherd which indicates an intense love of life and strong fellow feeling so if you have been depressed i'm just gonna say if you have been depressed or feeling very down and emotional you guys 2019 you will meet somebody because you did get the new love card you will be meeting somebody that brings you that joy that spark that love of life again you will literally feel like a child again 
Because for some of you, you are older, but you deserve love. The universe knows that you deserve love, so you will get that new love. And I am so happy for you guys. Like, I genuinely feel it in the heart space because I know for a fact you have been wanting this for so long. And now it's like, bam, you got it. And I, you watching this right now, I know you are so genuinely happy. Like, I can feel, I can feel your happiness right now. And it's just, it's, it's intense. And I'm very happy for you. You know, tears of joy, tears of joy as well. I feel that. It's really a sense of relief. And the strength card comes to you letting you know that you need to continue to have strength. Hang in there because they're taking care of it. Woo! All right. So five of diamonds. So we got two diamonds. Like I said, financially, even though that's not the focus of this reading, financially you will be taken care of like nobody's business. All right. This new love that you meet possibly will be able to provide for you financially as well. They have some riches, but you also, with whatever you're working towards, these opportunities that are coming your way, you also will have the finances, but you will just be showered with abundance, you know, without even trying. But the anchor denotes successful ventures and business and love. So if you meet somebody new in 2019, remember that this will be a successful romance because this card right here says so. Um, and they know for a fact what you bring to the table. They look at you beautifully and they will have a big heart. Um, Pisces just popped up. That is a water sign. Yeah, Pisces popped up, so you might meet a Pisces, but it might not be a Pisces, so don't turn down anybody just because they're not a Pisces, you know, but it would be cool if they are a Pisces, let me know. All right, so in <clears throat> the last card that we got is the Cloverleaf, which is good tidings, okay, so you will be leaving somebody will be leaving something but it's all in your favor okay and i'm so excited for you guys so breaking it down summarizing you guys the blessings that are coming your way definitely you're going to be leaving somebody that stressed you out for a long 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 period of time all right and you will find something new um whether that be a new job a new romance both um and also like i said if you are into journaling or reading Start it back up again. This is a big sign from the universe. And also, within the next few weeks, this card came out. So I feel like that's when the cycle is going to begin going. The ball will get rolling. All right, you guys. And a big time opportunities. And like I said, 2019, you guys will be taken care of financially. Money won't be an issue. All right, lovely. So that wraps up today's video. Um, if this resonated with you I would love to hear it let me know your story let me know what is going on with you um let me know if you do enjoy reading let me know <laughs> just let me know what's going on because this this reading right here made me so happy genuinely that you will be getting this fulfillment you will finally be feeling satisfied with life once again like very happy okay so if this resonated leave me a comment you know like this video it lets me know that you want to see more also go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you have yet to already okay so you don't miss out on any of my new tarot videos all right but other than that you guys i'm going to go ahead and end this video i love you guys so much from the bottom of my heart okay also if you have any video suggestions leave those down below i always do suggestions okay so i will see you all in my next video peace and love Bye, guys.